hope it does. So change subjects. Talk about the importance of data. Oh, I'm a I'm a data slut. I'm not. <laughs> I'm a data slut. I just I just am. I, I think it's so interesting. Um, you attribution and all like stuff. I think data is, it's boring and minutia, but it's so important. It's so important when you start understanding the flywheel and the scalability and, and where it all comes from and, and, and attributions and, and data analytics. And you don't have to be a data scientist at heart, but you have to understand, hey, this is working. This isn't working. We need to throw a little bit more behind this one. We need to put this one on the side. Um, it's again, it's, it's a little bit more granular and minutia, not as, as sexy, but it's really, really, really important that most people understand that data is the most important thing that we have. right now. And you can monetize data. You can, you can, you can, you can, you do whatever you want with that in a, in a nefarious way or in a good way. And I think the people who do it in the good way will continue to have repeat business. And I think the people who do it in a nefarious way will be like, eh, we have to finish out these few dollars that we can get. And it's been happening right now. So talk about this. Like, I think a lot of people, they get data confused, right? A lot of people are like, you know, here's a thousand rooms of data and they throw it at you, right? Which is fucking useless, right? Yep. How do you go from like a straight data to like learning the story behind the data? Mm -hmm. Like what's the saying? Like, you know, is uh, like, so you said by say 20%, right? Well, 20% could be two out of 10 or could be like two million out of you know, whatever million, right? Yeah. You have to, yeah, that's really hard. You have to, Again, I'll go back to knowing what a win is to most people when it comes to data. For me, data, 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 whatever you want to call it, I think it's more talking about the user. And I have my idea about what I want. And the data is the actual attribution to what I want versus what the uptake is. And I think people don't understand that bridge and that chasm is massive. And data is the only thing that bridges the chasm between what you think your hypothesis and your scientific method and what your constituents you actually want. So here's what I think of X, Y, and Z and has 0% efficacy with my, with, my, with my end user. This data is telling me, hey, this bridge is wrong. And I think data is the one, it's, it's really sad. It's the equalizer. Mm -hmm. It's my baby's so cute. Well, the data says it's not. Nobody's, yeah. Nobody gives a shit. And I'm like, but I want my baby to be cute. Yeah, no, 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 no. We want you, your baby to be cute too. It's not going to work. So, okay, my baby is funny. Okay, yeah, your baby's funny. Yeah, look, the data's saying it's funny. Now let's make a, a funny data company, you know? So I think data is, is, is one of the most important things because it's, it's unequivocally unbiased. And when you, when, you, when you take your emotions, emotions are the biggest, it's funny too. They give those four caveats, the startups of, of hey, startups don't succeed because they run out of cash and a product market fit. No, no, they do it because ego and emotions get in. I think the number one cr to crusher of, of, of startups, even if you've raised or whatever, is the emotional quotient that gets everybody yeah, a little bit. I know so many founders who so don't ask for help. Are you kidding me? Don't ask for help. I and they know yet, they need help. I they know who to ask for. Pride is a motherfucker. Pride, I've ego is a motherfucker. Yet, I've yet to see a solo founder just fucking rock. I, because that echo chamber is brutal. The echo chamber is brutal. And, and, and it's a joke, yet it's not. But my panacea and like my, my best red team is, is my old lady because she's like, you're fucking stupid. I'm like, yes, ma'am, I am. But like, why? But why? In a good way. In a yeah. good way. Like, hey, help me poke holes because she wants me to succeed in the right way. And I think, um, I think I'll be really honest. A lot of founders, myself included, because I had a little bit of success. I did. I had a little bit of success. So I purchased. I know my next one's going to be. I never fucking touched tech in my life. Mm -hmm. How am I going to assume that my SaaS tech is going to be better than anybody? Mm -hmm. um, but they don't want to give up. They don't want to delegate. They don't want to. Yeah. So it's like, hold on. This person isn't, isn't good enough to get equity in my company or yeah. part of my baby. Of course. Of course. And so I think the data is one of those things. That it keeps, it's, an, it's an equalizer and a normalizer because it really is like, actually, no. You know, these six months of traction that you thought on your sprint didn't really work. Do you want to listen to what we're saying and then move the next iteration or do you want to continue with this head bashing against the wall? 